Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to draw a very simple Batman. So let's start with the top of the head, and we're going to go from left to right with a curve. From here, we're going to draw in the ears, so on the left side, we're going to start in the inside just a little bit, and then go up to the top of the ear. We're going to go to the right side and do the same thing, so starting at the bottom, moving our way to the top, making sure that both sides are at the same height. We're going to curve down towards the jaw. So we're going to start at the top, on the left side, and curve all the way down to the jaw. Do the same thing on the right side, so curving down to the jawline. From here we're going to connect these two points with a curve. So before we do that, we're just going to round out the jaw, just slightly, and we'll connect it with a downward curve. Now that we have that, let's draw in two big eyes. So we're going to draw the circles, starting at the left, the very top, draw one circle, and we'll go over to the right side and draw the exact same thing, trying to match the exact same size. From here, let's draw in some frown lines. So starting just above the left eye, on the outside, we're going to curve down into the eye, and as we get past it, we're just going to turn the end up. So go and do the same thing on the right side. We're going to start on the inside, curve into the eye, and go around to the outside. Now that we have that, let's get into the nose. So just in the center here, below the eye line, we're going to draw a little dot. From this dot, we're going to angle up underneath the right eye, and we'll go to the left side as well and just draw a curve or a straight line to the left side. From here, let's curve down the sides. So on the side here, we're just going to curve the mask down to the chin on both sides. We're going to give him a little bit of a frown mouth. So starting on the right side, we're going to do a little curve and a hook. Curve around, up, we'll come around on the left side and just tuck this in underneath that mouth. From here, we're just going to draw a straight line, sort of angled across. Okay, now that we've got that, let's get into the body. So just below the chin, we're going to drop down a little bit and draw the sides of the body. So on the left side here, we're just going to draw a curve down to the hips, and on the right side as well. Let's connect these two points with a downward curve. We're going to make that twice as thick for the belt, so we're just going to move up a little bit and just draw a curve going across. Now let's draw on the arms. I'm going to go up above this armpit, on the side here. I'm just going to curve out the line like that. Do the same thing on the right side, curving out like this. Let's draw the inner part of the arm, so just in here, I'm just going to curve in. And from this point, we're going to draw the thumb, so we're just going to draw a little curve like this. We're going to take that same point and just round out one finger, do a little bit of an overlap for second finger, and this little line here for the arm, we're just going to tuck that in underneath that finger there. Up here, where the thumb meets the finger, we're just going to draw a little curve like that. Let's draw the gloves, so up here, we're just going to draw a little curve to separate the arm. Let's go and do the right side. So we're going to take that exact same thing and draw it over this way. So starting in the armpit, making sure at the same height, Coming down to the wrist, making sure it's around the same height. We'll draw the thumb. We'll draw one finger and just curl this around. And like we did here, we're going to do some overlaps. So one finger, and then the final finger, we're just going to wrap right into that arm line. We're just going to draw that little curve to separate the thumb and the index finger. Up here, let's draw the glove. A little curve like this. Under this neck, we're just going to draw part of the cape. So in the middle here, in between the chest, Draw a curve going to the outside on the right, and a curve on the left. Let's draw the bat in the center of the chest. So in the middle here, I'm just going to draw a curve that goes up, and then down on either side of the head of the bat. Up on the left side, we're going to curve up to the top, and on the right, we'll curve up to the top as well. On this left side, we're just going to curve down to the bottom of the wing, and we'll do the same on the right side. From here, we're going to draw a curve once. Now we're going to take these two points and curve down to the bottom. So I'm just going to take the halfway point between these two and draw a little point here. Take the right side and curve right into that point. Left side will curve right into that point. Okay, let's get into the legs. From the hips here, I'm just going to curve down to the front of the leg. Make sure we get the same height on the right side. This. I'm going to draw the lower torso. So in between the legs, 
just gonna draw a straight little line across. On the left side here, I'm just gonna curve down to the heel on the left side, and curve down to the right side heel. From this point, I'm gonna connect this part to the ankle with a little curve. So starting at the ankle, I'm just gonna curve out the front of the toe, and then back in. Over here on the right, let's do the same thing. So curving out to the toe, and then back in. Let's draw on some boots. So on the front of the leg here, I'm just going to draw an angled line going up. From this point, I'm going to curve to the back of the boot. Over on the right side, let's go up at an angle. We'll curve that right into the boot. And now we're going to draw on the cape. So from these points in the shoulder, we're going to angle two straight lines down to the bottom of the cape. But we're going to imagine it going behind that arm and continuing beyond that. So we curve this right into the leg. Take this line, imagine the line coming straight down this way. Tuck that in behind the leg. And then in between here, we're just going to finish it off with a curve. And that is pretty much it. There we have it. There's Batman. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.